Look at that. Hades securing the turtle. Just as easy as that. That's the second turtle of the game. And uh, already Team Flash is winning by a lot. And they're putting a lot of emphasis in the gold lane. You can see that they're zoning out Weezer or Wiser. But in comes the jump. Purify is available for Vanix. Activates it. Zaman Force now as well. In comes the Kaja with the ultimate. Now, Kufra with the ultimate himself, but will not be enough. In comes the Joy, has to back out actually because the damage count will come in from Team Flash is more than enough. The Amno goes down from the other side, but in this fight, Troublemaker is taken out even after the sprint. Wiser, Weezer, gonna be able to farm, I think, and defend because there's no. No, no, he's probably not gonna defend it. The Zaman Force popped on the bot lane as well, being off of cooldown and yeah, yeah, being farmed just with as a bonus with turret. And uh, yeah, That's a lot of problems here for RCC. On the top lane, uh, Benedetta was taking advantage of her high mobility to make this gang on bottom lane happen, but uh, yeah. pays with the turret on the top side. But on the bot side, such a good stolen ultimate from Lydia was popped right yeah. like from the last hit possible almost in the verge of death uh, used by Valentina and to regen her HP and eventually result in turret and three kills. Yeah. We're gonna be Diablo with the damage. Troublemaker Ooh. is in trouble. Taken out even after the ultimate. And Castle wants to dip his toes into the fight. Has to back out because there are five members of Team Flash. They did clear the minion wave in the middle, so there will not be any push. But RCC now struggling. Mm -hmm. And the, the initiation Kufra. on the Kaja goes here from the Hufra with the first kill. No follow, though. They might counter attack Hufra now. With, well, when you were just ults him like second and third time in this game already, and uh, just focuses the roamer. Yeah. 0 oh, and 3 for uh, Kupi, the Kufra. Well, the, the overall effect of what he did was to give a kill to T-Flash, but they also secured their purple buff on the Joy because of that. So at least there's a trade-off for RCC. But the turtle, the, num the third turtle of the game, T-Flash will take it as Hades didn't even need to pop the retribution for that one. Mm -hmm. Up top, you yes. can see JPL <laughs> wants to go for the fight, has the flicker, but now it's caught by the Kufra. No follow-up though from, uh, from RCC. Without any minions for now, Team Flash will back out, but in the middle, they're able to push. Yeah, the pressure is real. The man force popped out. Uh, Castle uses his own ultimate, trying to counter Valentina. Valentina, while doing damage in, into his face, Joy comes into fight, pops all the jumps and ultimate just defensively to go away, and the damage is there, just damage to the, to, to the counter of the Joy. It's gonna be the jump. Coming up from Kufra for the counter, they want to go for this play, but it comes Vanix again with the Zaman Force. Doesn't need to, the Purifier as he takes out the Bruno and even more. That's going to be Ooh. Kufra down for the count. Team Flash destroying RCC up top lane. Yeah, that's a pressure. Like, pressure is everywhere. And second skill to avoid the damage from the turret and not going to be able to survive, but still every turret is down 53 seconds for the lord probably gonna push mid as well take all the buffs and go for the lord wow how do you come back from that one you need a miracle for rcc a massive aoe combo with your tyrant's rage as well at your penalty zone mm -hmm. but they yeah, also need the damage just wanted to mention, like on the bot lane, there was a moment when uh, when Kufra um, kind of used first skill on a Harit and then second skill on top of him, but still yeah. Harit is was managed to like jump out with his own second skill, and uh, yeah, so Kufra not really like counters that one. Oh, look at that! Look at the damage coming on Vanix and Zaman Force committed. No death whatsoever. Castle wants to fight for the flicker play. Penalty zone, but where's the follow up? No follow up coming up from RCC. And Team Flash will just back out because of that. That's a flicker burned out. And Team Flash going to be very confident into taking this Lord now, knowing that there's no penalty zone and flicker from RCC. Yeah, Lord easily being taken, not even, uh, not even trying to bother the this just fully commit to defense rcc here waiting for indeed for a miracle probably but double purify 
not thinking that way, a miracle is not going to happen probably, but we'll see, it's uh, Mobile Legends, Land of Dawn, and you never know what's gonna happen. We never know what's gonna happen, but what we do know is that Team Flash has a massive lead over RCC now. Top lane is where the Lord is at, and the bottom lane gonna be um, controlled by Team Flash with all of the heroes almost parked in here. And even Hades, as the Guinevere just walks around nearby, and even the Lilia cannot prep the, uh, the cannot prep his defense off top. They know that the Joy is there. Team Flash will not chase because all they wanted is the purple buff. Now being taken by Vanix, we know for sure that Harry loves this this uh, invades. Yeah, map is totally being controlled by the Team Flash. Lord is marching top lane and the mid lane is being pushed as well. Mega Minus, Hufra Charge potentially jump in with the flicker, but no, for save it for the next time. Mid lane is being farmed with the along the side with the passive on the turret and the lord is coming into the fight the lord up top there's the kufra with the job not catching anyone but the turret is not catches four penalties on the four members of team flash where's the damage the brutal tries his best but hades gets out they did defend but they yeah. will not get any yeah. kills out of that and then turret tyrant trench wasn't popped actually on top of that potentially could Stun even more for people, but the oh, Divine no. Judgment goes into the Roamer just to front target, and the counter attack jumps in, not oh, being no. able to cast the his, his own Tyrant range, being picked off. Castle running away, trying to survive, uses first skill to just have a little bit of region, and the eventually survives. Ooh. Joy taking out the Benedetta onto the other side of the map. Bruno wants to. <laughs> Get into JPL. He's quick, but he's not able to catch up nonetheless. 8,000 for Team Flash. They will be settling for an inhibitor turret up top. And because it's just the first Lord of the game, I think uh, for Team Flash, they're going to be very happy about the result. Yeah, and now they know they shouldn't group up against the penalty zone and tyrant range because... Uh, but hey, the... There was no follow-up, and uh, it was not like the obliteration of the first, uh, of, I mean, sorry, four people. Uh, all RCC team was kind of focusing Lord, even uh, four people was caught in the ultimate, and uh, it yeah. still resulted resulted no defense on the turret, though. Maybe should went for the hero kills, but hey, second Lord is spawned again. It's gonna be the gonna be the fight around this uh, Lord, which actually is not a fight at all because uh, RCC just forego this Lord, just did not even fight. Hades will have to commit the Retribution just to make it fast. And it will spawn in three seconds. Gonna be up top. And they yeah, top wanted lane. to rush to taking the Lord because they wanted to really hammer down RCC. Yeah, that's uh, that's for sure. And uh, mid lane being pushed already. Top side uh, trying to synchronize the minions. Harry going on the bot lane trying to do the same thing. And uh, mid lane probably is going to be prioritized. Benedetta is not that, uh, not there yet. And uh, trying to prepare her own final blow for the uh, gets initiation oh. on the Benedetta but not turn trench not hitting the stun forcing to use second skill out and the Lord yeah. is being farmed no ult yeah. one ult down let's go for it without the ultimate uh, Curtizi, oh, it comes a job penalty zone onto two. Where's the damage? They are able to take out the Vandir. No! The stolen magic shoes, and now one shot is gonna be punished. Harith damage is just too much. Vanix just destroys the joy. And what a clutch utilization of the ultimate coming out from Curtizi. Copying the black shoes to get out of the safety. Yeah, the second time RCC in this game. Could be there. Insane exactly. usage. So much resources was Pop trying to kill that Valentina. It resulted in oh, her the low job. HP. Kufra. And the second one, second attempt, just Divine Judgment can seal Tyrant Range at the counter attack with the Zaman Force trying to kill all of them, just damaging here and there. And triple kill for the Harriet, and the Crystal is going to go down. Woo! Good at coming out from the Kufra with the jump. Killing the Fanny. Oh, that's going to be really bad for Hades. Losing his life up top for a free kill. 
And then they turn to your CC just farming. Vanix wants to fight against Visor right now. He's quite low. Gonna be chased down. Good defense coming from JPL, but the flicker plays is there. Look at that. Appraiser's Wrath, and in comes the Astral Echo. Vanix now in trouble. Very low HP. Implosion Ooh, copied counter. by Curtisi. Connects onto Ooh, one shot, they... and they have the damage with the turret. They take him out. Now they want to find more. And RCC oh, biting off more than they could chew. They did not respect the damage, and T-Flash punishes. Such a good stolen implosion here from Valentina. Catches absolutely off guard. One shot here, and tanking uh, like five tower hits, which finished him off. Uh, Vanix with a good recovery out there with the has claws, almost with the burst circus fury. It's a little bit waiting for that one. Hades. Ooh, the and so far, Castle is being on point with this Arlet. Yeah, Castle farms a lot, a little bit more than Yuzhong, but on the other hand, the Bruno has a lot of farm, almost get his Berserker's Rage, rage finished. It's around maybe like 1,000 uh, gold more. Initiation and oh, implosion oh, oh. with counter-attack on Flicker, catching up two people, big control, and the kill that RCC oh, needed. No. The Bruno shut down, and the follow-up on the Valentina here, oh, finished the, her God. off as well, and that's... Three kills for nothing. A very clean take from RCC, and it all started with Koopy going in for the flicker. Implosion play, catching two. Defense. Oh, Vice are gonna be taken out by Hades. Overstaying in the mid lane. Might be able to push the stunts. Okay, JPL defends for now. Oh, but there's yeah. another wave Don't, of minions. Do not underestimate. Fanny, yet again, even though purple buff was taken from her and she was killed, and the uh, belt, uh, a thunder belt is built on, like a first item, which gives you obviously HP and armor, still almost like one shots. <laughs> yeah. But then RCC are still leading. They might even be able to push bottom lane as the Arlet is there. It is going to be complete. Hades. Not gonna find anything onto Castle. Castle just holding his ground. Mid lane, they wanna defend this. Oh, Vanix receives the Astral Sphere. That's gonna hurt. But because of the Has Claws, he's able to just life steal some of the damage uh, away. There's and a great just potential for a top. huge implosion this game because of Astro Echo, which gives the uh, their hitbox on the enemy. Yeah. And the, the tower eventually gets just backdoored. And uh, yeah. yeah, no middle turret. Yep, there was an update where uh, if your um, if your magic damage is higher than your physical, you you consider magic damage as your uh, your autos on uh, mm -hmm. turret. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. And mages yes. can push good as well. Yeah, that's right. So here we go. Looks like uh, there's a little bit of a standoff up top of the river, and T Flash are not confident playing this because they don't have the purple buff again from the Fanny. And nevertheless, Fanny's in the bottom lane as well. Hades just can't catch a break. I mean, Castle is just destroying this Fanny. And even Kurt receiving that Astral Fear. Troublemaker just hitting the shots. Invasion coming up from RCC. Hades badly needs this. One shot is the first one to get to level 12. But Fanny secures it nonetheless. No, the scary even stuff for Hades, advantage. but he gets it. Very good retribution. Yeah. Yes. And but the, the, now the RCC Lord now might go for the Lord because there is no retribution and the and uh, Fanny wants to invade for herself. Arlo doing a lot oh, of no. damage actually for Fanny misses his oh. ultimate, but the second skill oh, of Novaria no. hits right in the front of the fly and the uh, Diablo here trying to invade himself and forced to use the Black oh, Dragon no. to run away, but followed by the oh, arrow yet again no. and the snipe from the potential snipe from the troublemaker. Not needed. A disastrous sequence of events for Team Flash. They will lose the Lord for sure. And Hades already outplaying his opponent Castle, but he did not realize that there's a there's a troublemaker Astro Sphere that is ready to, to receive him. And that actually allowed Castle to eventually take out Hades because Hades was chunked too low. And Team Flash now behind by 5,000 gold and there's even a Lord gonna be pushing towards Team Flash. 
Oh yeah, the underestimation here happens like they didn't expect RCC to like prioritize purple buff for funny, which is like number one thing you should do against funny. Kinda always, uh, I mean, Yuzhong tried to cover up the buff, but you gotta like, I don't know, attack on that. And uh, now Fanny should play without uh, purple buff, which is absolutely possible, actually. J you just need to understand how to do it. Oh, and RCC are leading by so much. 6,000 now, gonna be pushed in the middle. For sure, they'll convert with that. And then uh, Wiser up top just ushered the wave. The minion flow is great. Up top, they took down the turret naturally. And even the bottom lane is gonna be zoned out. Oh my god, RCC are playing this so well. They are pushing and they are so disciplined at this. Four Ooh, man Astral Echo. Yeah, it could be an implosion for RCC. Yeah, be double, careful about this. Purify. Final Slash not gonna connect. In comes Diablo with the ultimate, but it's not gonna catch anyone. That's so weird play coming out from Team Flash. Yeah, just for in the sake of defense, probably was popped the dragon to save their inhibitor turrets here. It's understandable. Maybe it was unnecessary, but like, you know, you never know the future. I mean, the RCC could attack here and they was kind of prematurely used the, the Black Dragon form. Oh, man. We're gonna be a, some split push from Hades, but uh, Castle is there. Fortunately for him, the Astral Echo does not hit. One shot almost controls him, but uh, he gets out. Even the uh, orange buff is getting reset here. He's gonna take it. It should be Hades still. But they need the purple. And this is the priority now for RCC. Clearing out the minion wave and then transferring to this fight. Castle is in here. So difficult for them to, uh, uh, to, to fight. And that's an easy purple buff invasion coming up from RCC. Yeah, and a potential setup for the Lord in 35 seconds. Here the split push comes. I don't know about that ultimate. Have no energy now to run away. Two heroes cutting up. Carrie trying to stack her own passive, running in, popping oh, ultimate, no. and makes the revenge from for the turret. Not even needing the implosion. Easy, easy job for RCC for now. 12 seconds before the Lord, they don't have Hades. And surely Hades will not have the purple buff because he died. Oh, 100% sure that RCC will secure this second lord of the game. Yeah, second lord probably gonna remain uncontested here. Carry already starting to chunking down with Fredrin here, uh, working down on the lord. In 10 seconds, you gotta kill it like right now, probably. Yeah, lord is dead. And in five seconds, it's gonna come, it's, which is pretty good, and gonna march towards the mid lane. Oh. Here we are with RCC dominating the game, giving away this Fanny for Hades, but outplaying him all all along the way. And such a uh, unfortunate sequence of events for Team Flash already put them put them in a very compromised spot. Now it's so difficult to recover if you're RCC, if you're Team Flash, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Astral Echo is going to soon fly on the team, but uh, enjoying just yeah. the second skill. No ults yet. Not oh, rushing Diablo. things, but trying to kill here Diablo. Diablo. Diablo is dead just for duration of the town on the Fredrin and carry damaging oh, huh. mid lane. Fanny from the behind gets interrupted by the uh, airborne effect of Fredrin. And here they're oh, trying to kill oh, the tanks here, but no damage. Phoenix, absolutely no damage. And oh, here is, is the, the gold advantage comes oh, out the... from Hades. Is gonna try to gonna try to do the Hades. from the base to the face oh, no. and not reaching the fountain and not reaching his HP in time. There was potential probably to defend if oh, the Miracles play here, but uh, not gonna happen. And such a smart tank in here for Fredrin to make oh, this crystal it. pop. Now we're going into game number three as Hades tried. Kurt Easy tried the thing. Diablo is there. Oh, look at this. One shot as well as Castle wants to actually pin down Diablo. Are they going to be successful in doing so? No. We're just going to back out. One shot now. Compromise. But Hades misses a uh, dash. Gets hit by Novaria's second skill. 
has to get out. Hades actually stopped by the Grok. Uh, Grok block coming up from Koopy. Uh, well done, coming up from Koopy. The game is kind of freezes at this point, and uh, everybody doing just just chilling and farming, I guess, waiting for the Lord to, uh, to appear in 22 seconds already, and positioning game here for Grok already scouting for his team the position of the enemy. Castle on top lane gonna wanna split push probably and go for the Lord, but uh, that's the thing what Khalid is actually is gonna do probably. And attack here, unexpected attack on Valentina from Guinevere forces her to use this it's a snipe. Not quite there. Purify burned by Curtizi. And the mm -hmm. positioning from Team Flash is compromised. Or on this Lord. Gonna be in lockup to Hades. Hades low. Half HP. Has to back down. JPL wants to fight because Vanix is here. But the damage from Navari oh, is gonna be the threatening them. Look at that. And even the Grok block is gonna fend them off. Diablo a Grok kind of flicked in the front of the enemies and while exactly. running back. So kinda, uh, pretty kinda awkward. Unfortunate but use. the Lord is still up for RCC. It comes Castle. Going in for the pokes as well as the Echo. Now Team Flash is away from the Lord, but in comes Hades. No, watch out to secure the retribution. He's taken out. Hades is out for the count. Vanix has to run away as well. And now even Kurt is taken out. No Purify, no Flicker, no whatsoever for Mr. Kurt TZ as he's taken out. Diablo, very short quicksand guard, enough to keep him alive. But that is Team Flash now being behind RCC. Great Lord Dance from them. Yeah, I, and I saw from the Team Flash again, again, this. They kind of didn't understand should they go for the hero, should they go for the Lord, and it was too late. And then Heavy Spin plus the jump and like exploded <laughs> in the middle of the ultimate. It was kind of wacky. But uh, you gotta like reload probably some, some somehow. I mean, your mindset to make yeah, this happen. Sure. To, I mean... Oh no, Team Flash is crumbling. Faster. Echo connects, Hades is low. Able to defend down the bottom lane, but they've lost all of their outer turrets. At this point, Troublemaker is making a lot of trouble for Team Flash to work with. It comes a job, Hades being poked. Look at the damage coming up from Bruno. The shred is there. Mm -hmm. Able to defend. As well as the bottom and the top lane. Team Flash to that, live, will live to see another day. The uh, pressure from the Valentina, I mean, the, not, not the pressure, the threat from the Valentina, Akai, and the Divine Judgment of Kaja still there, which makes Royal Cybersport Club not been able to attack on the inhibitor turret, kind of safely trying to push. Always like trying to bait the skills, like Guinevere jumps with the second skill, trying to bait something like ultimate and maybe run back, but not gonna happen. So RCC not been able to go for T3 turret here. Yeah. 5,000, that's the goal date for RCC in this game number three, <clears throat> elimination match. Who would have thunk Flash will be in this position because the caliber of their players, Castle now being pinned down. Response is low, but it is gonna be enough. Four members in that area able to take out Castle, one of the most important players for RCC. That might be huge, actually. Even though they used a lot of skills on that one, it still will not matter because 21 seconds to Lord and Castle is exact same uh, time span dead and it might result a good positioning from for Team Flash on Lord, but RCC actually understand that and already trying to cover the positioning around the Lord and uh, Team Flash is not actually rushing the positioning on the Lord um, for various reasons and now they're gonna go and oh, the no. ultimate Hades. on the haze oh, go no. on and <laughs> being bursted down even though he had a heavy spin oh. and the fight is continuous trying to get the kaja here as well and oh, the second knock shot. up on the on the carry here forced to your her to go back and not oh, using purify and the divine judgment on the castle but not enough damage and the ultimate from bruno come on pass even oh. <laughs> more more fast uh, it was potentially like three kills 
<laughs> for the ultimate. But no, this, and now they're gonna, gonna go for deadly. the crystal. Might go for the crystal. The Bruno is here. They have the damage. It'll be a lot of seconds before he is. Oh, look at the flicker wall charge. The Vanix will be able to dodge away because of the Phantom. Uh, Phantom step on it. Goes one shot. He takes out Vanix. Good snipe from the jungler of RCC. He will lose his life for that. And again, and the miscommunication, crucial. like half of the team, uh, sorry, went back and uh, Gwini were kind of attack and like uh, Bruno was way too far away to follow that. If he just followed, probably there would be two additional kills. But hey, now it's like, again, four versus four and Lord. My, oh my. Good seal play. Diablo wants to go for Troublemaker, but Troublemaker with the flicker gets out. Counter Echo. That's Conceal and Flicker. Burned out. JPL doesn't have the Flicker now. One shot has respawned. That's the jungler of RCC. Hades holds on to the Lord. Level 14. But one shot is level 15. Good Grok block. Coming up from Koopy. I'm looking for, for this one. Hades picks up the Sky Garden helmet while Diablo. And as well as Castle just duels it out on the opposite end. Curtisi wants to actually help his teammate up top. Might not be the best case. But now look at the oh, bait. Valentina. Diablo survives. Oh. They cannot punish the Paquito. Paquito is out. And now trouble in the in the Lord area. Look at that one shot. Nice JPL. JPL down. Vanix outputs the damage, but not enough for him to get the kill. Has to get out. Doesn't have the ultimate anymore. So many ultimates and so many resources. Burned by Team Flash and Hades is low. They know. RCC knows where he is. They're holding on to the Lord for now. Gonna be point black for the Bruno. Troublemaker finds Hades. Hades kinda re kinda respawn for now or rejuvenate his life, but Castle's low. Diablo misses the shot, but finally can he end? <laughs> Castle, no, he can't. Hades is out. No jumper for Team Flash. While the Lord is being worked on, Weiser survives as they get out. And that's one shot to take the Lord for now. Weiser wants to fight. Curtisi now low. Curtisi out. RCC fights Diablo as well. Novaria connects with a skill shot. And now Team Flash will have to defend with three members. Ooh. Against RCC's five. And the Lord as well. Oh, look at one shot. Finds the opening of the JPL. JPL cannot do anything. Immediately taken out. Vanix cannot finish the job. Gets the immortality pop. But can he survive this one? It seems like he will take out one shot for now. And Diablo will not be able to survive his castle. Takes him down. Vanix and Hades. The only two defending members of Team Flash. It seems impossible, War Barbie. Oh, I don't know. Castle just won't die. He just goes for the throne, probably trying to zone out here. Everyone with heavy spin heads. And the Lord is working straight on the crystal. Carry is focusing down and a stun on Carry. Forced to use. Nah, not gonna be able to defend here. Hometown buff for RCC. May not be the favorites in this tournament, but today is their day. They take out Team Flash. Comparably, the better, the team with better experience will lose against the team with better execution today. The reverse sweep was complete and a shock to Team Flash. Ooh, that castle, man, he just won't die. On the bot lane, he tried to kill. Uh...